Why do we love monsters? All right, so I've been rewatching Housing Ultimate because I wanted to cover some other anime that I rate. This series stood out because it's brilliantly animated. Every episode is a classic, and it has some of the most iconic characters in anime. In fact, the characters are so cool, I often conveniently forget that they are genocidal killers. I'll take it even further. These murderous, seemingly unstoppable characters, like Alucard, and outside of Helsing, Thorkel, Yujiro, and Kenpachi Zaraki, are in my top 50 characters of all time. After noticing this, I figured it would be very important to see if I'm alone in my love for this specific type of character. And lo and behold, it isn't just me. Everyone seems to love these lunatics. Contrasting their popularity rankings with their respective atrocities helps put things into perspective. Alucard, most popular character in Helsing Ultimate, an immortal vampire that has consumed over 4 million people with a total body count being much larger. He lives for battle and relishes torturing his enemies before killing them. Thorkel ranks third in Vinland Saga, an unreasonably strong Viking warrior. When he isn't in battle, he is fantasizing about the next battle. He also has killed a bunch of people. Yujiro ranks second in Baki. He is the strongest thing on the planet. Killed a bunch of people, including the mother of his own child, a mutant gorilla, and a dinosaur. He travels the world in hopes of finding a worthy adversary. Kenpachi Zaraki ranks fourth in the 10th Bleach popularity poll. He obtained this position by murdering the previous Kenpachi and arguably has the best scaling in the series. He wears a bell and an eye patch as a handicap and often takes unnecessary damage to make his fights more stimulating. Now, to put it lightly, these aren't dudes you'd want to see your daughter with. Yet when these characters appear on screen, they get a different quality of attention than I care to give the rest. So what's the deal? Are we ill? Why do we find ourselves rooting for absolute monsters? Well, let's start with mastery. We are fascinated by masters of their craft. Regardless of the nature of their profession, from school teacher to hitman, if someone is really good at their job, we want to know everything about them in hopes of discovering the secrets to their mastery. In this case, these characters have mastered martial strength. Few opponents can rival them, so when you combine that martial might with a genuine lust for battle, you get some of the most thrilling moments in anime. Extreme characters often bring unique moments that are incredibly entertaining. Without a character as strong as Thorkel, we don't get to see this panel of Thorfinn get kicked 60 feet in the air. One of my favorite panels of all time, by the way. Without Yujiro smoking Baki's mom, Baki has no reason to become what he is now. I know these dudes are S-tier serial killers, but I stand firm on loving these types of characters, and many of the series wouldn't be half as good without them. I know I missed a lot of reasons here, so I may make a part two. Like and comment your favorite mass murdering characters because I'm always looking for a new manga to binge. Have a blessed day. I'll see you next time. Peace.